Okay, for this math lesson, we're going to talk about another division strategy that you can use until you have them memorized, and that's called repeated subtraction. Okay, so let's just start with something simple. Let's start with, let's say, 16 divided by 4. Okay, so what you can do is you can start with a big number, 16, and then keep keep subtracting the other number until you get zero. Okay, so let's do that. 16 minus 4 equals, think about what that would be, 6 minus 4 would give you 2. You still have the 10s, so it would be 12. Okay, now we need to minus 4 again because we're not to zero yet. So 12 minus 4 equals... 12 minus 4 gives you 8, so you circle that. I'll be done with my lesson in a little bit. Okay, so we're not to 0 yet. So we're going to do 8 minus 4. Okay, and 8 minus 4, that's a basic subtraction fact from last year. That gives you 4. Okay, I'm going to carry it down here so you can see it better. So we're at 4. Okay, we're not to 0 yet, so we keep going. So then we do minus 4, and that's going to give us 0. Okay, so that's what we want to get to is 0 ultimately. So you count how many times you subtract it. And that's going to tell you what your answer is. Now, you would do it on a straight line, so you wouldn't have this extra one. Okay, so I'm just going to erase this one because I want it to carry it over. But the ones that you circled would be how many times you subtracted. So, one, two, three, four. The number of times you subtracted would be your quotient. Okay, so 16 divided by 4 would equal 4. We subtracted 1, 2, 3, 4 times. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try 12 divided by 3. Okay, so we start with 12 and we just keep subtracting 3's. 12 minus 3 equals, so you think about you can count down from 12, whatever works for you. You get to 9, circle it, that's one subtraction. Okay, we're not to 0 yet, so we subtract 3. 9 minus 3, that equals 6. Okay, we're not to 0 yet, so we subtract 3 again. That equals 3. We're still not to zero, so we subtract three again, and that's going to give you zero. Okay, you end up with a old donut there. Okay, so to figure out your answer, you count how many answers you got. So you had one, two, three, four answers. Therefore, 12 divided by three gives you a quotient of four. Okay. So give yourself some other basic division problems and practice some more of them, and then that will help you memorize your basic division facts. That's, what, that's called repeated subtraction.